I think the first time that you see projection mapping, you've never seen anything like it before. Seeing Luma for the first time is like seeing walls move that you wouldn't expect to move. It was like... It was amazing. It was mind-blowing. It, it just was a transformative experience. I was like, I don't know how this works, but I have to figure out how it works. I, it can pass you by. It can be a road. A road once traveled. You know, one of the reasons we started Luma was we were looking for something to really bring people together around a really big vision to inspire people, to inspire the community. I knew instantly that projection mapping was the thing to do because uh, it's something that, especially in the United States, very few people have seen up close. We had seen projection art a little bit in Ottawa. Well, Binghamton is a rust belt city. When I was a kid, there were 80,000 people who lived in Binghamton, and now there are 40,000. It's a very cool small community. It's got all sorts of neat things going on. But there are certain things that we associate with big cities. We imagine that for those things, you gotta get in the car and you gotta go somewhere. And this was a place to say no. If you wanna do stuff from the ground up, if you wanna create something by just sheer force of will, this is a place you can do that. I knew an incredible artist. I knew a really talented programmer. I knew an electrician that wanted a cool project to work on. And then to see it from day one where it was an idea and it kind of organically grew, it's just amazing. I saw people at Luma watching opera, watching uh, orchestra, all of these wonderful art forms. It was an opportunity for the orchestra to push boundaries. We have so many wonderful artists in this community, and the mural mapping was a way for sort of more traditional artists to get involved. We bring in artists from all around the world. One of the things that attracts them to Luma is we give them unprecedented access and control over their work. We're a digital playground for all these artists. We're giving them the ability to create the dreams that they've never thought they would be able to do. I actually reached out to the um, Facebook page about, hey, like, how do I help out? Like, just as a volunteer for the festival, and um, it turns out that they were hiring for interns for the summer. The people that work on this project, it's so neat to watch them pair up with these artists we bring from Barcelona, from Budapest, and to have that experience of working with people that they know are traveling the world doing some of the best work they can find. To sort of come from like being on the street, like looking at it, to actually getting to help do it is kind of, in a weird way, kind of like a dream come true is as corny as that is to say. You know, every year, Luma grows bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's absolutely impossible for us to continue growing without your support. Luma makes people smile. It makes people laugh. Just seeing the hope that people had. You know, just an ordinary day can change by seeing a performance or hearing a piece of music. We need your help to keep making that happen. This is really a project that's about bringing people together. It's about bringing a community together and bringing the world to that community doorstep and to make a statement to other small communities like Binghamton. If everyone does get together, figures out what their talents are, figure out what unique combination of Lego blocks you can plug together to do something that's unlike what anyone else does anywhere in the world, that you can have a, a truly spectacular thing and the world will pay attention. Put your hand in mine, we're in this together. In this together